series of strength sapping challenges in the jungles of Borneo, I've reached a river big enough to take a raft. If I can build one from bamboo, this could be the route to civilization. Serious sized bamboo, this. Build a ship. Bamboo is great for raft building. It's so buoyant because of all of the air in all of these chambers. Okay. There's also a lot of weight to it though. You want to try and pick one that when it goes, it falls down over there by the river. And then what I can do is pick the very top bits that's green and thinner, cut that into sections, and then make a raft out of that. I want to start cutting on the side where you want it to fall. This side isn't under tension, so you can safely make a big notch in the stem. If you tried this on the tension side first, the bamboo could splinter with possible fatal consequences. It might seem like a lot of effort, but cutting down a fresh length will ensure you aren't working with something that's rotten. With a bamboo down, it's a straightforward job to cut it into a number of equal lengths. First bit going down. Let's build it down there. These cut sections might be full of air pockets, but they're still pretty substantial. Let's lay this out down here. And once these poles are lashed together with sticks and rattan twine, the raft will be difficult to move on the land. And that is good and strong. And we'll do the same about here. Okay. To ensure your raft is buoyant enough to keep you out of the water, it's often worth building a second platform. Okay, so I'll put this on top of that one. Then lash them together. Making the raft long and thin will help you in fast moving water. If you build something too wide, more likely to get turned broadside and then flipped. You, know, you want something like a canoe, long and sleek, and you can pick a line through any rapids. Okay, not sure what my Royal Navy buddies would think of it, but I'm happy it's finished. I just need a paddle. Splitting a length of bamboo and shaping it gives me a simple paddle. Don't win any races if it's going to work. Let's get this thing launched. OK, moment of truth. <laughs> That's good. Well, at least I'm up out of the water. The current's strong, and it whips me downstream. I need the paddle more for controlling the raft than to drive it forward. You can never relax for a second in a jungle river. Any jungle river needs to be treated with extreme caution. The brown water can conceal all sorts of debris, and small rapids usually indicate hidden hazards under the surface. You need to stay alert and try and pick a line through all of these little mini rapids. This raft is not that stable. I'm through the rapids, but in this strong current, I can't relax for an instant. Even the banks of jungle rivers need to be treated with caution. They're often unstable, and there's more deadfall here than in the forest itself. Wow, look at that. You wouldn't want to have been here when that was all coming down. I'm wet, and I'm tired. It's still quite throbbing for that snake fight. But after several hours on the river, I see what I'm looking for. Civilization at last.